If you are a midlife woman or you're coming up on this powerful season of growth, this is the podcast for you. Welcome to Unraveling Together. I'm Samantha Graber, also known as Dr. Sam, seasoned holistic health physician and woman in the midst of midlife's unraveling. Unraveling Together is a place we talk about the things we just don't talk about, but so desperately need to as women. Together we untangle ourselves from our pasts and weave a beautiful web for a future we so deeply desire to bring to life. Grab a cup of chai, water, tea, or joe, and let's get to it. It's time to end the quote-unquote weight loss quest. It's not about your weight anyway. I can hear you now. Okay, Dr. Sam, I'll play along. Since it's not about weight, what is it about? It's about what you're made of. I use quotes around quote unquote weight loss because it is a misnomer in and of itself. It's not the weight that matters. It's what that weight is coming from that makes all the difference. Is that weight from bone and muscle? Fantastic and keep it up. But if that weight is coming from excess fat in or on your belly, that's not so great. And up to a point, if that excess fat is on your booty or anywhere else, that fat too can be an issue. Too much of it actually jacks with your hormones, the sex hormones as well as the ones in charge of your metabolism. Body fat doesn't just sit there. It is highly active behind the metabolic scenes and not in a good way. Question the advice, not your ability to follow it. The advice we've been given is incomplete for the most part, and some of it is altogether wrong. If you are someone engaged in her own weight loss battle, you know that. Deep down inside, you know that after years of following conventional wisdom's advice, something is just not working. But instead of questioning the advice, you question yourself, your ability to do it right your ability to follow through, and the piece de resistance, your willpower. You question your worth and your abilities. It's not you. It's their advice. There are environmental factors that impact your ability to maintain a body composition that promotes health and well-being versus one that promotes disease and illness. The environment in which we live our life adds a massive amount of complication to the mix. In fact, these environmental factors are part of the reason you pack on more fat than is needed in the first place. You need some body fat on you, by the way. Environmental factors such as endocrine disruptors in personal care products, uh, microplastics in pretty much everything we eat and drink, chemical additives to processed foods, pesticides, herbicides, these are problems and they are not going away. We are inundated with them. Now the list is way too long to go through here. Check out the Environmental Working Group's website for more details. They'll set the record straight, but be prepared to lose your ever-loving mind when you read through their information. Don't say I didn't warn you. I'll uh, drop some links in the episode notes below. It doesn't have to be this way. You have many more important things to be focused on than your love-hate relationship with the scale. That number on the scale does not define you. When you end the war with your weight, you have so much more time to do important things. What will you do with all that time? The options are endless. A way to compress the learning curve and jump straight to the stuff that works is to join us in the Unraveling Together co-working hub. Enrollment is open now. So we're kicking off a 12-week metabolism reset that will help you do just that. Never again will you count calories. Never again will you waste countless hours thinking less than loving thoughts about your body, its shape, its size, its appearance. After completing a 12-week metabolism reset with yours truly and my posse of rebellious midlife women, you will have a whole new relationship with your body. Your hormones get back to working the way they're designed to work. And by hormones, I'm talking about all of them, the metabolic ones, the sex ones, as well as others. It's not about, quote unquote, the weight. You'll be able to leave the weight loss conversation where it belongs, in the past. You see, the conversation around weight loss is not really about the weight. Weight is just a measurement of how our body relates to gravity at that moment in time. That shows up as a number on some scale. 
a scale that has no business being on anyone's bathroom floor, in my opinion. We make that number mean something. We make it not just the objective measurement of weight, we make it a subjective measurement of our worth in some way. The higher the number on the scale, the lower we think of ourselves. Let's just say it like it is, shall we? See, we engage in this personal battle with our weight because that's what we've been brainwashed to think matters. Things I don't care about, nor should you. I don't give a rip what you weigh. I don't give a rip what I weigh. <laughs> I care what we're made of. What goes into the making of that which is us, our body? Bone, muscle, skin, organs, blood, and some other goodies. What is part of our weight that isn't our body? Things that aren't our body are things like excess water. That has a weight to it. We hold on to some of that excess water to tamp down the damage from the massive toxic load in our system. Our very intelligent body retains water to mitigate the toxic fallout that would result if the toxins were not buffered by water. The larger the toxic burden, the more water retained to attempt to deal with it, and the more fat we carry around with us. In addition to the water, some parts of our body will pack on excess fat to house those toxins that our body cannot deal with by sweating, breathing, peeing, or pooping them out. There's a limit, and we've reached it. Now, sometimes our inborn detox system can't deal with those toxins because there are just too darn many of them. And then other times, it's because our liver and other detoxification pathways are not up for the job. Our inborn detoxification system gets bogged down over the years. The sheer burden shouldered over those years is just too much. It simply can't do it. Does that mean you give up and buy into the here take this mentality of conventional wisdom? Absolutely not. That is if you're anything like me and those drawn to the holistic approach to our menopause and our metabolism. This isn't a permanent situation if you don't want to make it one. You can chase all the detoxes in a box. You can do the latest challenge or join a boot camp, and you can choke down supplement after supplement if you choose. Those are all temporary, quote unquote, solutions, if they even are a solution at all. So many of those things are just marketing hype. And you can opt to push the easy button, but buyer beware. Some of those proprietary shenanigans do more damage than help. In stark contrast to the quick fix quest, you can heal your body at a cellular level with real food, cycle coordinated fasting, gentle movements to restore motion, and a heaping helping of mindset work. Because without your mindset on board, everything is just a temporary band-aid and at best, a quick fix. A fix that's more like a drug hit than a true fix. The quick fix fixes nothing. Cycle coordinated fasting is proactively choosing the time frame that you are not eating so your body can do the behind the scenes metabolic cleanup it needs to do. When we follow conventional wisdom and eat every two to three hours, for example, our body never gets a break from digesting food, except overnight, nor does it get a reprieve from releasing insulin to deal with all the glucose taken in. A few years back, I introduced a program called the 12 week metabolism reset. At that point in time, it was focused for anyone with human DNA. I've now dialed it in specifically for women. I show you how to coordinate your metabolism with your female sex hormone cycle. From about our late thirties on, there are so many things that can hijack that cycle. Our female hormone cycle is greatly influenced by a metabolic machinery that runs everything. And most of that ties back to our cells and their relationship with insulin and cortisol. When it's a functional relationship, all systems are go. When it's a dysfunctional one, such as the one most of us have, all systems are not go. It's similar to when we draw the go to jail card in Monopoly. You do not pass go, you do not collect $200, you go directly to jail. That jail is an adipose cell, also known as body fat. When that jail gets too crowded, you build another one, and another one. Sounds kind of like our modern approach to justice, doesn't it? What's behind the bars, so to speak, is the toxic load we carry around thanks to the environmental factors mentioned earlier. The weight loss struggle starts with insulin and cortisol. Unless we address those two gals right there, anything you do to quote unquote lose weight 
if successful, is temporary, very temporary. When whatever it was that kind of worked stops working, we chalk it up to another failure. We then armor up and walk back onto the internal emotional battlefield. It doesn't have to be this way. Enrollment in the co-working hub is open for now. As a member, you have access to the time-tested, newly revamped 12-week metabolism reset. The only qualification is that you are female. Whether you are actively having a menses or not, you are a long cycle creature. I go more into what that means in the hub, but in short, it means that your body has a longer cycle than somebody who is male. Male and female bodies have to go about resetting their metabolic machinery differently. We have to go about everything physiological differently, especially as we get into our late 30s and beyond. A female is not just a tiny male with breasts and a uterus. Some of us are not all that tiny to begin with. I am just shy of six foot and maintain a fair amount of muscle. I'll never be petite or tiny, nor do I want to be. Seriously, if you look at me and think, man, she's one thin chick, there is something uber not bueno going on. Throw me a grass-fed, grass-finished steak in a vat of butter and get out the way. <laughs> See, for far too long, we women have been excluded from scientific research because female bodies are complicated. You're darn right they are, but they're not an unsolvable mystery. Let's demystify this whole process bring it out into the open and get you the information you need to take action upon. Now, when you resist taking that action, and you will, even when all the science supports it, we have got to dig into why you're having the resistance. Where is that struggle coming from? This is where that heaping helping of mindset work comes into play and where having a community of others navigating similar waters comes into the picture. When you join us in the Unraveling Together co-working hub, you will be part of a collective of women putting in their own inner work and pooling their wisdom. A gathering of women who rebel against the status quo because they know they've been misled by it and are now choosing to approach their health and well-being from a holistic point of view. They want different results and they know they need a different approach. The co-working hub is focused on issues specific to a woman in her late 30s and beyond. If you are one, please join us. You are most welcome. Details can be found at unravelingtogether.com. Hear more of my thoughts on this issue from an episode earlier this year I called Lose Weight, another phrase to retire in 2022. Until next time, take good care of yourself and each other. Thank you for joining me on the Unraveling Together podcast. I'd love to turn this thing we've got into a dialogue. Follow me on LinkedIn at Dr. Sam Graber, where we can have conversations about all things midlife, perimenopause, and finding meaning through it all. If you want a deeper dive into exploring your midlife experience, consider joining the Unraveling Together community of rebellious midlife women. It is there that we roll up our sleeves and do the work. Unraveling Together is a resource hub, roadmap, and online coaching community curated by yours truly. We are navigating this time called Midlife Together, for we truly believe we are stronger together. And when unravelers are in need of an assist, they have all of us there alongside them.